What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited to bring you a full-fledged knife sale. I am actually going to be going through my inventory and items that I'm either upgrading from or haven't carried and I'm not using. I'm going to be including in this sale. I'm going to go ahead and kick this off starting with the Vero Engineering Axon. This one here includes the original case. It also has the in-cut carbon fiber scales. It has the satin hardware if you'd like to put that all back on. And it includes the certificate of authenticity. If I can pull that out for you guys. As you can see here, this is the um, hand satin M390 black carbon fiber in-cut from Vero Engineering awesome great little knife i am actually hoping to score a synapse on um yeah synapse um they have them coming out this summer and i'm really hoping to upgrade that so i'm going to go ahead and free up some funds by letting this one go i did go ahead and put the black hardware on here with the micarta scales i think that looks really nice i would definitely give this a b plus the reason for the b plus is because of the fact that it does have just a little bit of wear signs here on the I guess you would call it stonewashed finish and you can see a couple of little marks on the back spacer as well overall i would give this action an a plus very smooth and it does still actually have the factory edge it's never been sharpened and you can see the plunge grind stops right at the tip of my fingernail so you do have some sharpening space available for this one really nice access to the lock bar it is centered really nice this one here i am actually asking 284 that includes everything that you see here and actually before i get too further into this knife sale this paypal will be accepted friends and family i will cover shipping so the 280 includes ship to your door you do cover the fee for the paypal expense by doing the friends and family so we'll reach me over on instagram you can dm me and you can let me know which one you're interested in first come first serve i give each person that commits to buy 24 hours to make payment if the payment's no good i'll go on to the second person that reached out so anything on here that does not get purchased within three days will actually be going either on reddit or i will actually just be listing it in an ebay auction so i'm going to be putting these items away they will not be carried or used now that they've officially gone out on sale so that is the vero engineering axon that one i'm asking 284 next up is going to be the spider co shaman this one here it has the dlt coating on it it has the factory smooth g10 scales factory pocket clip which is four-way reversible compression locks no modifications it did for a brief period in time have a set of skinny carbon scales on there i'm waiting for my blade hq exclusive with the m4 steel to come in to put those scales on so i am going to be letting this go i know i won't carry two shamans so Here's the opportunity for you to get this knife. It does come with everything that came with the knife originally, the hardware, the stickers, and the little sleeve here. It is perfectly centered. Action is really good on this one. Very nice example. The DLT trading, I'm asking 194, 190. So if you're interested in this one, over on Instagram, JD, for edc underscore va i'll have flashed that at the screen at the beginning and i will do it one more time at the end so i'm asking 190 for that dm me over on instagram if you'd like to grab you a pretty much excellent condition shaman with a few little marks on the blade from where i used it to demonstrate cutting through some cardboard and paper nothing too serious next up is going to be my Benchmade Mini Adamas. This one here is pristine. I did send this in to Benchmade because it developed a little bit of lock rock. They couldn't fix it, they ended up replacing it. So this is actually a brand new knife, has not been used. And letting this one go, I'm trying to free up some funds for some potential future purchases. It comes with the original box, it comes with the sock and the little 
instructions or warranty information and the access label that usually comes here. Ooh, this is really snug in here. Let me see if I can lift up on this without doing too much damage. So everything that you see here, this one's going to be for one 90. I'm asking 190 for the mini Adamus. If you're interested in the Adamus, go ahead and again DM me over on Instagram. All right, let's keep this moving along. That is the mini Adamus. Ooh, let me try to bring that down. I doubt I'll be able to fill all of this, so when I get done with this top row, we'll move on. Next, I am letting go of my SIG K320 by Hogue. Really like this one a lot. This one has a little bit more visual uh, wear and tear on it, but the edge, edge, I did strop up the factory edge and tested it the other day. Works really well. No issues with their able lock. Very nice here. This one is perfectly centered. Have not done anything to disassemble this one. Haven't needed to. I'm actually waiting for their aluminum handle version to come out. So I'm going to be letting this one go for 100 bones. It includes all of the original paperwork. It includes the original pouch that comes with it and the original box. So, and you can see the paperwork is down in there. I'm not gonna drag all of that out for this, but that is the all black coated blade S30V sig k320 400 this is a steal of a deal because these are like 130 right now so nice deal on that next i'm going to bring it out a knife that they are no longer making and is completely sold out and that is going to be the vostid bellamy this one here is a dropper m390 micarta handles it does have the flipper tab it has the fullers for the reverse flick it also has the front flipper for the our mohawk front flipper for that finger reach around this one is in really good condition i did swap out the titanium scale for the titanium off of the warrior a while back and left that on there i think that actually looks good because i feel like the color of the fish matches the hardware anyway this one is not available they're not making any more i am asking a hundred dollars for the bellamy this is roughly 130 dollars new it includes everything that you see in the box so you get the sleeve you get the tin container it also includes they gave you a lot for your money. The taco for the knife itself, the sleeve that it came in, and you get their certificate of authenticity. I guess this isn't really, this is just everything that's on it. So you can see M390, clip point, hollow grind, uh, micarta scales. So this one will be going in the box until someone decides to pick that up. So Instagram, JD. For EDC underscore VA. If you're not already following me, <laughs> if you're already following me, just DM me over there for this particular knife and uh, good luck. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to leave everything stored until we're ready to ship out. So that is the Vosteed Bellamy, $100. Not too bad. Good luck with that. All right, next up is going to be my Damned Design Hades. This one is the all titanium variant with the 14C28N. This is a pristine example. No cuts, couple carries, and a little bit of fidgeting. Really nice example, love this knife. But again, looking to free up some funds for the channel, asking $100 for this one. This one comes with everything that you see here, which is everything that came with the knife. Oh, that's right. I did have to cut open into the sleeve to get into this one. Um, so if you're interested in the Hades, which is currently sold out, I don't think that you can pick this up anywhere. Let me get that troll candy out of there. I don't think you can pick this one up anywhere right now. I think it is completely sold out and understandably so. That is a great little knife right there. So good luck to you on that one. Next up. I'm starting to run out of room already. I think I might be able to get them all on here, though. It's going to be the Damned Designs Cerberus. This one here is the 14C28N version. Same thing that you heard about the other knife. I think there's only like this one tiny little mark right there, and I'm not even sure if that was me or if that's from their stonewash. 
but great little knife a um, little bit larger than the Hades nice size couldn't find the plastic that came with it but it does come with everything else that comes with the damn design knives and that one also asking 104 <clears throat> Keeping it moving along, next up is going to be the Finch Lucky 13. This one just turned out to be a little bit too small for me. I know I like it for a fifth pocket carry, but I wasn't really grabbing it as much as I had hoped. And uh, I did recently pick up the Chernobyl Ant, and I like that one a lot better. I like that size and um, hand position for me is a lot better as well. This one is a little bit tougher to get into, so I apologize for the delay here but it includes everything just like what you've seen with all the other knives i am asking eighty dollars these are normally 130 this is a deep discount but i don't think it's going to be as big of a draw so i am discounting it heavily so eighty dollars for channel members and again if any of these knives don't sell in three days i'll be moving them out to either reddit or on to um, ebay and First come, first serve. That person has a couple of days to respond, and then if they don't hear from them, it'll go to the next person that inquired about the knife. So this is all going to be packaged away. I'm not going to be um, pulling anything back out once I post this video. If you do want some more pictures, then I probably would do it, but if not, it's probably going to stay in the box and out of the way. So again, Lucky 13 with the wood overlays that one is going for 80 next up is going to be my kaiser original tried really hard to like this one i let the black one go a long time ago um i've, I've carried this like three times guys i just not for me not really loving it not really feeling it i prefer the little bit chunkier altus to the original but it's in pristine because it uh, condition sorry concision I don't even know what I was about to say but is it in pristine condition uh, no cuts carried and fidgeted with but other than that nothing else this is a Mojave outdoor exclusive they are currently sold out this box came like that my package was cut when it arrived to me I apologize that the box is not in pristine condition I don't know what on earth the post office did to my box I'm a little concerned actually because when I looked up my um shaman ups said that there is damage and there's no update it was supposed to arrive yesterday so they sold out i am going to be so screwed if they damaged my knife i'm hoping that um blade hq will reach out to me and let me know what's going on with it and hopefully the knife itself is not damaged and it's just the box i really don't care the uh, exclusive i tend to keep those those don't come out of my inventory but this as was as with everything else on the table is going to be going back in the box and will not be messed with anymore until the new owner makes their purchase so the kaiser original i am asking 60 dollars. i think they're about 80 brand new so brand new with a few carries and a little bit of fidgeting not really much done to this one at all that'll be a deep discount for you and it includes everything that comes with the box and the knife just like if it were new next up is going to be my Civivi chevalier or wait yeah did i say that right chevalier yeah chevalier how oh, i just opened it into my finger i decided i could i was really drawn to the micarta i picked up the wood which you probably have already seen on the channel the wood handle with the satin blade and i did want to check out the micarta i was very interested in it the only real difference that i can tell is this needs a little bit of break in that coating does slow down the opening and closing just a touch but there's no button stick well i say no button stick on my channel all button locks have just a hint of button stick which you do want but you don't want it to be to where you can't deploy it so it deploys really well and the micarta on this feels really nice really nice micarta the fuller works really well i really like this knife a lot um but i just decided i'm only going to keep the wood i'm not interested in keeping two versions of it plus i want to free up some funds so this one also is going to be going up for grabs brand new just some fidgeting i think i opened a package with it 
and you might see that a little bit down on the tip I just wanted to see what the edge was like and how it went through um, a little bit of cardboard but the black wash really does hide that really well this is a factory edge has not had very many cuts at all I am asking 60 for the Chevalier and this one um, comes with everything that all the other stuff on the table has come with comes with the taco the papers the troll candy all that good stuff the stickers the warranty the microfiber cloth coming at you for 60 again another deep discount on a knife that's virtually brand new it's in excellent condition and uh, a really nice example so if you hadn't pulled the trigger on the chevalier or maybe you like me want to check it out and see if maybe you like the micarta better than the wood or whatever's going on you have an opportunity to do that at a very deep discount so that is the chevalier getting down to my last few knives guys let me see if i can move this up I had a feeling that it wasn't all going to fit on here, but <coughs> I'm not doing too, too bad. Next up is going to be the Travisa Mansay. This one here has 154 cm. It has the G10 handles, but they feel soft, sort of like a smooth micarta. It feels really good in hand. You can see it just has a little bit of milling going through there. It does have a decent deep carry pocket clip really like the ergos on this one a lot feels very comfortable in hand nice cleaver fantastic edge i tasted it i tasted it i tested it on some paper and um a little sheet of cardboard just to see and it just has a fantastic edge really cool design on this one the review for this will be coming out in the coming weeks but i just know because i picked up the we roxy 3 i have the urban edc supply f5.5 I have the Convict from Concept, and I also have the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. So this one is just not going to get much pocket time, but this is really good value. You get 154 CM blade steel. It feels very QSP-like, very smooth, has a good detent. These uh, speed holes act as a thumb hole, but they're designed, obviously, aesthetically to match the speed holes on the handles this one here i think normally goes also for about 80 or so dollars i am asking for 60 for the trevisa and the, again this is like a brand new knife if you wanted to check out trevisa at a discount this is your opportunity to do so again this is another manufacturer has really nice presentation you get a really well done sleeve a magnetic box it also comes with a sock for the knife it comes with if I can get in here and show you guys it comes with the warranty paperwork it comes with a very nice microfiber cloth that is branded and it comes with all of the information about the knife the QC pass and it comes packaged in a very nice sleeve I'm not gonna worry about putting that label back on the Trevisa I just want to get this all sealed up so I can get this out to the new owner of the knife, whoever that is going to be. Get a lot with this Dravisa, very interesting brand. I'm definitely gonna be checking out some of their, their other builds. Um, putting the magnetic box, box back in the sleeve, you can have a good laugh if you pick this one up. Um, there's the Mansay O3BB, you can check out on Amazon, I believe they're about 80. Last but not least is a knife, another knife that you can't pick up right now, but they will be restocking them, they're going to bring them back in. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive, this is the Micarta Feldspar Button Lock. Can't get this one right now, you can only pick up the Red Carbon Fiber Overlay. This one here, I did have to di disassemble this one. It was just gummed up so bad. It had really bad lock stick. I couldn't even reverse flick this one. But when I took it apart, I realized it was just gumming up because it had like the factory dirt and debris in there with the oil. I cleaned it, put fresh oil on it, put it back together, and uh, it has been fantastic ever since. Unfortunately, I always pick up my Protec, and then I picked up I pick up the Conspirator and the Chevalier and the Altus more than I'm going to be picking this one up. I really like their AR RPM9, has a fantastic edge on this. As you saw on my channel, if you're a regular viewer, this is a really awesome deal. It is like a $60 knife with a button lock. Micarta, all the way through Micarta, inlaid liners, and it, they are milled out for weight reduction, and this one has 
good detent i assure you good good detent i did put thread locker in there and i let it sit for a week a week um because i didn't want to carry it but i let it sit for a week which really would have helped that blue loctite really seize up and prevent it from coming out of center and coming undone so really really good example of their button lock i'm asking 50 for that one because you can't get it can't get it and it's not going to be back in stock until next month so i'm asking 50 for that if you're interested in any of this here's my instagram right here dm me let me know which one you're interested in i don't mind people asking offers or if there's potentially any trades like if you have a synapse and you want an axon holler at me let me know what you got going on might be interested in that i don't know why you would want to trade but just let me know i appreciate you tuning in today thank you for all the support and until next time everyone peace